have a little tester. Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm literally so excited to be sat down filming. Like it feels very nice. I haven't done it in a while. I've obviously vlogged Bali and that was really good. So thank you for the love on my vlogs as well. So I asked you guys to ask me some juicy questions on Instagram and you pulled through with some juicy ones. Could have been juicier, but I'll let it slide. It's fine. Obviously, I'm just going to pull them up from my phone and we can get cracking. I was debating whether to do a Q&A, like a drunk Q&A, but I just know that I'll definitely overshare. So maybe I'll do that in the future. And also, I'm filming this at 12. So I don't know whether I can have a glass of wine. Is that acceptable? You tell me. I don't know. Probably somewhere. On holiday yeah oh the door's going sorry about that got rudely interrupted by the postman George has been ordering my valentine's present so he's actually at work in the office i'm thinking do i go through them do i open them that would be very bad of me so i'm not going to do that <laughs> right so the first question is if anyone remembers the q a i did before which got loads of views i was pretty shocked by that but i did that like two or three years ago um so i'm asking kind of different questions but obviously it's just an update on my life basically where is the juicy questions right okay so the first question is do you get on with your boyfriend's friends now this question i love it because i've actually made some of like my best friends through him which i love obviously like all the girlfriends from the like his friends are also lovely like we literally i feel like we're very lucky in the sense that we're all so nice and like we just love each other and now i've literally met some of my best friends like mia sherbs jack like i love them all so much honestly so i feel very lucky and obviously the rest of them i love them all like they're literally the best people in the world so yeah i feel very lucky because not everyone gets on with their boyfriend's friends so i feel for you girl but yeah i love his friends honestly they're all so nice and most of them i knew before i knew him anyway but some of them I didn't, so it just kind of made us a bit closer, which is really nice. The next question is, who's the most famous person who follows you? So I think the most famous person who follows me is probably Tiger, which I found really, really just odd because he's obviously in America. I'm not in America. Didn't think he'd want to follow me, um, but it's entertaining. I love his stories. Like, I'm here for it um i'm trying to think who else is famous that follows me obviously there's been dms from people but you know some people just don't like to hit the follow button do they so the next question i'm going to try and fire through these as quick as i can there is quite a few and i don't want the video to be really long and bore you all so and also if i touch my hair a lot please just feel free to comment and shout at me okay next question what's your pet hate now i actually have a few pet hates because <laughs> some people just get on my fucking nerves really um i don't know when people go on their phone too much when i'm around them like i find it really rude like if you're literally on your phone a lot like it's fine to just quickly check your messages and upload something but if you're sitting there it's like i've come out to engage in a conversation with you and i just love when people actually like listen to me and i can listen to them and it's like back and forth constant like engaging in conversation and sometimes i just don't get that from people and that really annoys me like, it's like, come on, you have your phone every day. Like, you can just take one break away from your phone. And I'm sure most people will relate to this. It's bloody annoying. And you'd think I'd be on my phone a lot, which I am at home. But when I'm out with people, I just don't see the need to do that because I just think it's rude. Okay, my next pet hate is when someone gets annoyed at you for cancelling plans. Like, I feel like I'm such a chilled person. Like, if you can't make somewhere, if you can't be at a certain event, it's like, we all do have busy lives and sometimes things come up. But if you're the person that's like, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Like, I'm just so pissed off that she cancelled this event or did that. It's like, just chill, just chill. Like birthdays are different. I feel like that is when you can get annoyed. But for any other occasional weekend, it's like, just relax, you know? Like you don't always have to be free for a certain event or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So that annoys me because I'm pretty chilled. Like if you can't make a plan or can't make somewhere, then I will just let it be. I was like, honestly, don't worry, girl, we'll rearrange, we'll rearrange. Or whoever it is, like, I just really don't think it's that deep. Okay, my last pet peeve, because I actually have quite a few, and I just, yeah, I want to know if anyone can relate to me. When people don't pay money back that they owe you, or if they've, like, if you've ordered an Uber and they don't pay you back, that pisses me the fuck off. 
Like, sorry, someone's gone out of their way to pay for your ride home and you just can't be decent enough to pay them back. It's happened to me a couple of times. Um, people just, well, I don't know, people must forget, but it's annoying when people actually don't offer to pay for the cab. They expect you to do it. It's a big ick. Not for me. Oh, I feel like I was very passionate about those pet hates. Like, I promise I'm a nice person. I just, there's some things that really get on my nerves, you know, and I'm sure everyone can relate. <laughs> so someone said, what's your dream job? Now, for me, I feel like at the moment what I'm doing, I would say is half of my dream job. Um, when I was younger, my job, like my dream job definitely used to be different. I wanted to work in a hotel or own a hotel. Um, and I wanted to be a singer. Like, I don't know. I feel like being a singer would be my dream job, but I'm just not confident enough in myself to be a singer and to actually put myself out there and have people like judge you and shit like that. I don't know. It's just, yeah, being a famous singer obviously is not what I want to be because I can't handle the trolls, man. Can't handle the hate. And that's probably what you would get if you were a famous singer. Um, obviously along with the positives, but I just feel like, yeah, it would just be hard. Dream job. I, I don't even really know. And I feel like that's okay. Like if you don't know what your dream job is, like I feel like everyone's like, oh my God, you need to have life figured out by the time you're 25. Or like, I feel like I compare my life to a lot of people and like on Instagram and you compare and you're like, oh my God, their life looks perfect when really it's probably not. I mean, if it is, then like amazing for them. But sometimes what you see isn't always what is going on behind the scenes, you know? So never compare yourself, never compare your life to anyone else's as well. I don't know why this is even related to dream job. I'm just talking a load of shit. Just do you, whatever your dream job is, obviously strive towards it. But if you don't have life figured out, then don't worry about it. Don't get yourself down because something will come your way, very positive, it will. And if you like this video, you'll get your dream job. So yeah, for your dream job, just don't feel like you have to have your life figured out or your job figured out. Because for me, I have a few things in mind, but I just don't 100% know where I want life to take me. And I think that's okay. Like that's fine for you to feel that way. Um, obviously I know that I wanna have businesses, but yeah, your girl's still figuring shit out, okay? So, someone asked Messi or Ronaldo. Now, I'm obviously gonna say Ronaldo and the people that know will know why I'm saying that. So, yeah. Keep it short and sweet. <laughs> someone said, is there anything you've done that your mum and dad don't know you've done? Well, when I was younger, I definitely did stuff that they didn't know that I was up to or like, there's things that we used to do when we were younger that we obviously didn't tell our mums, but now I tell my parents everything because it's like, it's been and gone, so they can't really do anything. And to be fair, I actually didn't think my parents were as chilled as they are. Like, they're so chilled. Um, like, honestly, like, it's crazy. So I think back in the day when I was younger, I don't know why I said back in the day, like I'm really old, but when I was younger, um, I obviously used to be scared that they just tell me off and stuff. So we used to just lie. It was so funny because I used to put my find my friend's location on my friend's iPad in her house and we'd just go out and do like all nighters and stuff and she'd have no idea. So that's a little top tip if you want to do that. I mean, I don't know who would be watching this. It's under the age of 17, but yeah, definitely do that because that's a trick. Um, yeah, I feel like we just used to do all-nighters, just get drunk, literally drinking just vodka straight out of the bottle, no mixer. Like, what kind of sicko does that? Like, I actually can't even... I don't think I could shop vodka now just from doing that, like, when I was younger because it will bring back PTSD. Like, it's too much. But there's definitely a lot of other things that I've done that my parents don't know that I've done. Um, but you're not going to tell your parents everything, are you? Realistically, you're not going to tell them everything. And that's okay. <laughs> But I hope that when I have kids, they tell me everything because I will be the nosiest fucker ever. Someone said, is there anything in your life that you regret? Now, I think I've already explained this on a different Q&A. Um, but yeah, I regret renting. I literally had so many savings in my account, was living my best life, buying whatever I wanted to buy. And then I literally was like, right, I want to move out. I want to move out. So... I rented a four bed house and now you can imagine how expensive that would have been including bills and all that shit that I didn't realize you had to pay for each month. Being an adult actually sucks, but yeah, so that just made my savings go down and down and down. So now we're back to square one. 
which is fine. Listen, people make mistakes in life. I'm not saying renting isn't a good idea because I guess for you in your current situation, it might be nice like to rent, but I don't know. Obviously it's better to buy, in my opinion, I think if you wanna buy a house like with your partner or buy a flat, like just have your own thing. Like I think that's really nice to do. Um, and I wanna obviously buy a house with George and then do it up and everything. So I think, yeah, I, I think I definitely rushed the decision to rent. I shouldn't have done that. And everyone around me was like, what the hell are you doing? But at the time I was like, no, I wanna do this. Like I'm doing this. I will have no one tell me I can't do this. So I just went ahead and rented a four bed house, which you can imagine. Yeah, it got quite lonely. There was a lot of tears, a lot of just, yeah, I wasn't happy. So I moved back home and now I pay rent and it's still expensive. You can't escape. You can't fucking escape. Once you're an adult, you're fucked. Like you are actually fucked. You can't go back. I just want to be little and paying no bills and using my dad's card. He knows that I did that and that was really bad. I, yeah. That is another regret. I regret doing that. I'm sorry, dad. But yeah, I used to use his card and order like pretty little thing deliveries <laughs> all the time. And I don't think he noticed at the start and then he clocked on and I was like, yeah, okay. But I was really young. Sorry for that, dad. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> but you go through these things in life. You just, you do silly things and that's okay. So yeah, I think my biggest regret in life is definitely renting. Um, Obviously, I think if you're like, if you've just met with someone and you've been together like a year or so and you want to try it out living together, I think renting is perfect, like within your means. But I think for me, I was definitely just renting like not within my means and it was just stupid. But the amount of parties I had there, it was unreal. It went off. It was like the memories that were made. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend renting a four bed house on your own. I probably have other regrets. Um, but nothing as big as that, I don't think. Um, I'm really bad at thinking on the spot, so I probably will think of something once this video ends um, and it'll be too late. So if I do think of one, I'll let you guys know, but please comment and let me know your biggest regret because I'd love to know if anyone else has fucked up as well. <laughs> right, this is the weirdest question, but I'm just gonna answer it. Someone said, Shag, Mary Kill, Piers Morgan, Andrew Tate or Jeremy Clarkson? Can I just avoid, can I kill all of them? Please. Um, so, oh God, this is awful. I'm sorry. Shag Andrew Tate, kill Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, actually no, 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 that's wrong. Oh, Shag Piers Morgan, marry Andrew Tate and kill Jeremy Clarkson, because I'm sorry, Andrew Tate's the only like half decent looking one that you could even, eh, no, I'm sorry. I can't even, I'm sorry, whoever asked me that question, you're disgusting. So the next question is, what age will I have kids? Now this question, I don't know, I feel like I won't have them yet. It will probably be in like four years, three years. Like I just don't feel ready. I feel like a kid myself. I'm literally turning 24 this year. And I just feel like once you're a mum, like that is, that's it. That's your life, that's your life now. Like you have to be a mum, you have to, you know, so I want to be, like, I want to have my house, I want to have, you know, just everything sorted out before I bring a kid into my life, you know, because I want to be able to give it everything, so obviously I know that my parents and like, my family would love my baby to absolute bits, like my mum's always like, oh my god, please have a, a baby, like it would be so nice just to see you with one and like she can look after it and babysit whenever. Cause I think she misses, like they both miss having me as a child, obviously. I mean, as a baby. Um, so I think they'd love it so much, which would be lovely to see. And I can't wait for that day, but I just don't want to rush anything. Um, I'm still young. I don't, you know, I don't know. It would be lovely, but not right, not right now. Someone said, have you ever been arrested? Now I haven't been arrested and I don't think I ever will because I'm very innocent, okay? but I'm actually really scared of the police. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I have a massive fear of police. Um, and they've obviously come to my house a few times. I can't say some reasons, but um, they have they came once and they said to me, and I actually thought I was being arrested, but they was like, no, Amby, you're just a victim of fraud. So like someone was using my profile picture. No, my picture with my car number plate in it. 
and they were pretending to be me getting money off people. Um, so they were just coming to me to let me know. They weren't actually saying that I was in the wrong. So I was like, thank God my heart was beating everything. Like I was freaking out. Um, but yeah, that was that was a scary moment, even though it wasn't even me that was in trouble. But yeah, I'm, I'm scared of the police. Someone said, least favorite brand you've ever worked with. Now I actually have one and I'm gonna say it because I don't think it's right that they are just going about their day thinking this is normal. So, um, they're called Cybell Hair. They're probably, they're not even a big brand, but just annoys me the fact that I obviously wanted to work, like they said they'd work with me, whatever. I filmed the content, actually filmed the content as well and fully spent time in my day doing it, which I actually did like, because I liked the product as well. And then, um, sent it off to my like manager and they just never came back. They just ignored. So that kind of thing just annoys me. Like it really grinds on my gears. You could have at least said, right, can you refilm or we don't want to continue any more kind of thing. Like that's the least you can do to someone, you know? Um, and that just pissed me off. Like, and the fact that I still get emails to this day of them emailing me saying, oh, do you want to collaborate? Do you want to collaborate? Like you've actually just ignored me completely and you're just continuing to email. Sorry, but it's not for me. No one worked with them, because they will waste your time. Nah, every brand that I've worked with have been lovely most of the time. And yeah, I have a lot of favorite brands that I've worked with. And yeah. How do you stay so slim? You look amazing. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've put on a little bit of weight. I'm, I'm trying to show you the bloat, like, honestly. I'm bloated constantly nowadays. I just want to keep it real with you guys. Like I've obviously put on a bit of weight since lockdown and like since having a boyfriend because I eat a lot. Um, I used to be super skinny. I actually did a post on Instagram um, talking about it and it got a lot of love. So thank you for that. Um, I want to try and be as open and honest with you guys, but it feels very like, I don't know, it's quite a vulnerable state to be in, to be so open about like your weight and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I used to be really skinny and then I guess that was like when I was younger. So I, you know, you do put on weight and that happens as you get older. Like that's just a fact. So I don't know, I wasn't being too hard on myself, but now I'm getting into the gym and like focusing on what I'm eating. I'm going to turn it around and yeah, hopefully have the dream body that I want this summer, you know? Um, but yeah, everyone, everyone's bodies are different and whatever works for you works for you. Um, but thank you so much for the comment. So much for saying I look amazing. That's very nice of you. Next question. Someone said, what do I class as a healthy sex life? Um, I feel like two people will never have the same like sex drive on the same day. Um, so I feel like it's different. Like healthy sex life, I just say whenever you both are feeling it, you know? Like I don't think you should put pressure on yourself. Like, oh my God, we need to be having sex every day. Like that might that may be fine for you but for some other people they may be like oh no i don't want to do that you know so don't put pressure on yourself just do whatever you want to do if you want to have sex you want to have sex do you know what i mean it feels weird saying that word on a video but you know you've got to talk about these things sex education and all that one day your sex drive might be up here and your partner's will be down there so you kind of just i don't know it just whenever you feel like it i guess and whenever you want to you know Someone said, who is your celebrity crush? Now, I think I've spoken about this before, um, but I have two. I have two, okay? Actually, do I have three? I have two. So Eddie Hearn is definitely my number one, like his personality, his aura, everything about him is just mm, yummy. Um, sorry, George, but I love him and he knows that. My next one is Tom Hardy. Like, oh my God, I'm diseased, I'm diseased. He's beautiful, like he's just beautiful. Um, and yeah, I think that's all my celebrity crushes. I feel like, yeah, they're my two faves. They're my two faves. Someone said, have I ever had a threesome? No, I haven't. And I don't plan on having one. Not in the past. And I don't tend to do it with my boyfriend either. So that's a fat no. And I don't think he wants to either. I think he wouldn't want to share me. So I wouldn't want to share him either. Yeah, that's just a no. One said, when did I lose my virginity? I definitely answered this on my first q and I did. I lost it when I was 16, which I think is kind of, I don't know, seems young, but everyone acts a bit more mature nowadays. So I guess it wasn't really. So someone said favorite cheat meal. Um, I love five guys. Like five guys is honestly, 
insane but i'm such a like i love to have loads of sides with something um so i'm gonna say domino's is probably my favorite cheat meal um i just i'm not a massive like chinese and indian girl i will have it if it's on like on the menu but i just i'm not i don't know i'm more burgers chips onion rings nuggets like that's my kind of vibe so yeah someone said how come you don't post a lot of pictures of your boyfriend i feel like i do like i don't know why someone said this i feel like i post a lot like it, it, at the end of the day it is my instagram and i use that for work and for personal so i do post a lot of stories about him i posted him on my feed before so i don't know where you're getting this from honey but i do post him and yeah he's not very like big on instagram either so he doesn't really care like he's not fussed he's one of those people that's pretty chill about it i know that some people are like oh my god you have to post me like this amount of every day or like whenever like i'm just not i'm not i'm not about that the next question is am i on contraception yes i am otherwise it would be a fucking baby yeah i am on contraception i have been for probably the longest time now um i recently switched to a different one which i don't know if it's 100 percent working for me so i want to try and go to the doctors and sort that out um but i just i find it mad like there's only apparently like three days that you can get pregnant in a month and we're out here taking a pill every day like what even is that well for quite a long time at the, at the start i was on it because of my period pains and they're really painful and then obviously having a boyfriend kind of need to be on something so i like this question someone said what are your 2023 goals um my goal is to make more money more happiness more holidays more just just more love i think just spending time with my friends and family is all i really care about honestly like that is my main kind of thing i know that's not a goal but you know i just love spending time with my family and friends definitely more holidays i don't think i went away last year as much as i'd like to um i just love traveling and it just makes me the happiest so and my goal is definitely to keep at the gym keep at pilates just keep prioritizing my health because i keep feeling like i'm always constantly saying yes to people like going out i feel like i can't say no and i think that's something that i struggle with this actually relates to the next question someone said what do you struggle with and i feel like i just struggle with saying no to people and i feel like i'm letting people down if i say no to going out or like doing something because like if i'm staying in on the weekend and someone's like oh are you like do you want to go out and i'm like no i'm just staying in like some people will say oh like you might as well come because you're like don't be boring like that kind of thing i just i find it hard to like say no so i'm trying to like stay in one like friday or saturday a week because usually i'm out the whole weekend which needs to change girl we need to change that because i'm trying to save honey but yes continue saving for a house as well that is my dream to do up a house um and not rent but yeah um that is my goals i think and um is what do you struggle with i feel like i struggle with comparing myself to people on social media and like comparing my life um that's why i feel like it's quite toxic but like not like i wouldn't delete the app like do you know what i mean it's my job and everything like i do love instagram and i feel like people don't do it intentionally obviously it's just kind of what happens in your head you just think the worst of things and like overthink which I don't think is the app's fault at all. Like that's just us in our own heads overthinking stuff. So yeah, I definitely feel like I'm comparing myself to other people and I feel like I'm running out of time. Even though I am only 23, like you just feel like, you know, people are having babies, people have got houses, but you have to just remember like things happen at different stages of your life, like compared to, you know, some people might think, oh, I've wanted to be a mum since I was like 19, 20. So like their idea of, you know, their, their life is completely different to yours so don't ever feel like you have to compare and stuff like that i mean i should take my own advice but i really don't um but yeah just make sure you try and focus on you focus on your goals don't get too distracted by others and never compare because someone's you know i, I saw this quote and i can't remember it but life is a is it a marathon or a sprint that could be completely wrong I could have just butchered that so just don't quote me on that okay just scrap that my last question is would you ever do modeling and i think they mean like actual commercial modeling um and i feel like i would um i just don't feel like i've got like the model look like the actual like commercial tv like 
you know, website, like, I don't know if that's my kind of thing. Um, but I definitely would find it fun. I always see a lot of influencers that I follow doing like model shoots and stuff like that. And it seems really fun. So I would never say never. I probably would if the opportunity arised. Um, so that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long. Obviously, I'm going to edit it down. I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, but let me know if there's any other questions that I didn't answer that you want me to answer. Comment down below what you want to see next from me. And please like this video and subscribe. It means the world and really helps me out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.